Hi, I'm Chef Rick Moonen, standing here in my backyard in Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm super stoked to show you working with one of my favorite products, Sockeye Salmon. Look at that unbelievable red color. That is very characteristic of the Sockeye Salmon. What I'm gonna show you today is a very simple recipe, and I'm gonna do a ceviche. All right, ceviche, I'm gonna add fresh grapefruit, fresh pomegranates, those flavors work so well together with the flavor of the sockeye. So I'm just gonna dice up the sockeye, pretty good sized chunks. You know, you gotta understand that ceviche is cooking protein with, with acidity rather than heat. And you really can get the, the, the full effect of the uh, texture of this beautiful sockeye. What I wanna do is I'm gonna salt this a little bit ahead of time. So what salt does, when you introduce salt to it, it's going to start to, uh, to firm up the, uh, the flesh a little bit, and it's also going to concentrate the flavors of the, of the sockeye. So now we have to uh, put our ingredients together. We need the acidity is the first thing. So grapefruit, bright, delicious grapefruit flavors. I put a little bit of the zest of the grapefruit in there because it is where the oils are stored. Grapefruit zest. And do some grapefruit juice. So we just wanna cut it in half. I like using the pink grapefruit because it's got a lot of color, it's sweet. It doesn't have as much acid, so we're gonna add lime juice as well to this so that it has the, the strength of acidity to uh, actually cook the sockeye salmon. Okay, so we squeeze the grapefruit juice, put it in with the zest. Do the same thing with a couple of limes, so that's lime juice and lime zest. So now you've got the acidity, you've got that uh, beautiful, bright citrus uh, smell and flavors. Okay, so we're gonna add some jalapeno peppers for heat. So this is crushed coriander seeds. You'll notice that I'm working on ice. I'm surrounded by ice because when you're making a ceviche, you want it to be very, very cold. So you just mix that together, put in some uh, pomegranate juice. So now you got that really red color. You've got the jalapeno peppers adding a little bit of heat. You got the sweetness from the grapefruit. You got the acidity from the lime juice. We're just gonna put the salmon directly into our acid mixture with all the fruits. And we stir it. Now, you're gonna to start to see a little bit of color change, but not a lot. That's the beauty of the sockeye, because it maintains that brick red color. That's, that's a characteristic of, of, uh, of sockeye salmon. You wanna um, stir this a little bit and just let it just do its thing. The acidity has to start to have some reaction with, with the, the protein. So you can do that about three hours ahead of time, but you could also have it immediate. It doesn't matter, you know, it's just the, it's just the seasoning and the flavors. Okay, so let's put it together now. We're just gonna do our presentation. It's quite simple. Take the fish out, some of the juices. Get some of those jalapeno peppers. Put a little bit of cilantro. Some fresh pomegranate seeds. That's gonna add a little bit of crunch to it. Some grapefruit segments around the outside. So there you have it, wild sockeye salmon, super delicious, super simple. Mm. Excellent.